Hi everyone, I'm Steve, here with Jesse Townsend, our fitness director at Parkway Athletic Club South, one of our two clubs in Reno. Thanks for being with us, Jesse. Yeah, good to be here. All right, we got a fun topic uh, today that just, it just really amuses me. And I don't know where this is happening, but it, this has been really happening, I guess, for the last year. Yeah. And... <laughs> I have, I'm a, I'm a gym owner. I've, I've owned gyms for all kinds of health clubs, upper end value-based models for over 30 years. I've worked in gyms since I was in college. I've been in gyms since I was 16, 15, 16, as soon as I could sneak in. And I have never really seen this, but we want to talk about these women who are, you know, maybe they're not wearing a lot of clothes. They're putting the camera, kind of trying to get it on a guy or where guys are walking. And then they're going to go get in between that point and the camera. And they're going to do something that um, we'll just say would cause anyone to look their direction. Look, if you do something weird in the gym, if you start dancing around and acting like an idiot, people are going to look, right? But um, what do you know about this? Yeah, so, yeah, I have, I so this conversation, it comes up, you know, here and there in the gym, you know, it mainly comes up, I've had it with, with plenty of, of, you know, females that I know in the gym, um, men too, and, you know, it's kind of a mixed, um, you know, idea that people have with it, I think, still, and so the idea that now, uh, more than ever, you know, let's just say, it's really form fitting, right? Clothing stuff that just shows off what people are accomplishing. And so in some sense for me, you know, body person, it's really not a big deal. I, I I've been in these places like what you said since I was a kid. And, and also I'm pretty, you know, I'm pretty free spirited in some ways. So for me to see certain things, it really doesn't, you know, ring big bells or make me go crazy, but do I pay attention you kind of there's some things you cannot avoid having your eye catch right and then you also have you know men and and women and and people and you know we have our natural draw you know to certain things and so it's almost like you would have to blindfold self or you know do something ridiculous to get yourself to not you know look a little bit or pay attention to what's going on like you said um i we see like main stuff that we get and, and sometimes I think it's just my my clients maybe in their head a little bit um, in just the nature of how the gym is. But we'll be doing lifts and we'll be doing our routine. And maybe, uh, you know, someone comes over, a girl who's, you know, dressed, however, again, you know, showing off her her, her work that she's done on her body. And, um, you know, goes right in front of where we are at and, you know, takes some dumbbells and starts doing, let's say, like, Romanian deadlifts, right? And we're facing the same direction. You know, we're let's say we're behind dumbbells, for example, facing the mirror, and she comes and squeezes in right in front of us, grabs the dumbbells, starts doing these things. Again, is it planned by her? Probably not. I mean, that's what some I've had some guys say that has to be, you know, some sort of a, a plan there. Like, why else would you come and do that? I again, I'm going to I'm going to give benefit of doubt in certain situations, but do you look, well, I mean, it's kind of hard not to, I mean, do you be a, now there's levels, right? Do you, and this is what I try to help them understand too, if they're new to the gym is there's levels, you know, if you can move away and you're not in the middle of your lift and you could get, be courteous, maybe you move a little bit, right? Even if that's not what you really think, you know, is wanted in that situation, maybe you'd be a gentleman or, or a gentlewoman and move a little bit, you know, no matter what it is. Um, but again, normally, I'm going to be honest, most guys that, that aren't thinking in these directions, it's going to be hard for them to not sit there and and pay attention and i think women women and people too right we're, we're drawn to what we're drawn to some of that is just coded inside of us so deep that if we see something we find different you know attractive um by whatever measures you find attractive to be um you're gonna you're gonna kind of look a little bit right 
So Glam. my point was, don't be a creep. That's that's there's the difference. How do you do it and not be a creep? And and I think there's a lot of ways. You know, again, a little bit of courtesy if you can, move away. Um, also, don't just be so blatant with how you do it that it just looks and because everybody in a gym is kind of paying attention to everybody for the most part. I know we're all in our routines, but there's mirrors everywhere. You know, it's like a, a real open, obviously, format for people watching too. And 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 even just watching what other people do to understand lifts, people do that very often. So for you know sure. so it's hard to distinguish. Are they looking at that person to be rude and taking it too far? Are they watching that because they want to learn how to do that lift? And, and that could be a common thing too, you know, or are they somewhere? That's why I say stay in the middle, right? Like most things, you know, moderation, you know, don't be rude to the point where you're just, you know, getting closer, you know, zeroing your eyes in only on what you see, you know, making some foul remarks. None of that stuff is necessary, but, but yeah, it definitely happens. Right. Yeah. You know, um, yeah, it's like a, a lot of gyms are going so far as to ban filming in the gym. I've seen some stuff where people are film. Don't film in the locker room, okay? We have cameras everywhere, except for in the <laughs> locker room. You know, don't be doing that, man. Do not be filming yourself or anything in the locker room. Don't do that. And you're right, Jesse. You know, if look, if a man comes in, wearing a bikini butt thong, I'm going to, I'm going to look, sorry. <laughs> and I'm happily married to a woman. But yeah. if a man, would you look, a man comes into the gym, um, wearing a butt thong and doing Romanian deadlifts, would you look? Yeah. I mean, me, I'm definitely, you know, all man. Yeah. I can't account for everybody nowadays and what they like and what they, but I I'm all man. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm married and you know, I love the woman that I have and, but yeah, would I look sure. I mean, yeah, I, there's, yeah, nothing, I, I'm yeah, going to look I, for I, sure. Yeah. I, I, I mean, mine would be definitely bordering on a steer. Yeah. <laughs> but, Dude, it's like, ah, I'm, I'm not, I'm not hitting on you, you know, yeah. but my point is, and you see people going around dancing around the gym, you know, I'm going to look at that too, male or female. So yeah. it, it's just interesting. And in, in our clubs, we do not have a no filming policy, but yeah. it's never been an issue. I've never seen it in yeah. our gyms and I've owned gyms for over 30 years and been in gyms since I was a teenager. And yeah. I've, I've never seen this. I've never seen it be a problem, but I guess it is some in some places. Um, and a lot of gyms are having to go so far as to ban filming in the gym. You know, they, you, you, you grunt, the lunk alarm goes off. You film, uh, the lunk alarm goes off. <laughs> so... <laughs> That's a whole nother, um, yeah, that one too. Yeah, talk about alarms and stuff like that. That's a whole nother category of a place I would never really want to not not be a part of as a gym, right? And again, to each his own. Everybody enjoy what you have and what you like is what you like. I'm, I'm all for it. Um, but yeah, we can also always have the things, again, that are going to, you know, make us look, you know, draw attention. Um, yeah, and I think too, another good thing in this is like, let you know, dancing, like Steve is saying, enjoying yourself in the gym, you know, letting it out, you know, getting out your your frustration, building confidence, um, all the good stuff it does, you know, and, and not even to mention the health benefits and the physical attributes that can also improve confidence and et cetera. Um, but yeah, do what you do. I, I mean, I think that's also fair. Again, I don't know about you know, hanging up from a fan spinning with no clothes on or something, you know, there's limits, right, to everything. But if you're sitting there and you're enjoying yourself, you know, but again, know that I think this is what happens today more than than I would say is necessary. Sometimes people do things in public settings, in my opinion, only in my opinion is not worth much. I'm only me, but they do things in public settings that are going to draw attention. And that's kind of another point to this conversation a little bit. But then when the attention is there, they are almost, you know, like in a form where, why are you looking? Why are you paying attention? Or they put that out there on social media too. I think to that, I don't know if that's quite fair. It seems a little ridiculous at times, you know, again, being a creep 
you know, putting someone in, making someone feel like they're in danger or that, you know, or being even rude in a public place, if people don't have manners and don't respect people, but those, those people will have that issue everywhere. And we do have to deal with those people too. We all know that as adults and, and grown people. Um, but again, if you're doing your thing and it's something that's kind of out there and people are going to look a little bit, I think you should assume that they're going to look and just kind of know that that, but again, enjoy yours. I don't have problem with it. And most people don't, but just kind of maybe think about being a little bit, you know, reserved on, you know, giving it, giving the business to somebody or, or putting them in their place, so to speak, just because they're paying attention to what you're doing. Right. And so I think that's something that happens too much. Maybe. Yeah, the, my my really my last thought on this is be respectful to people in the gym. The gym is yeah. a positive place. It's a great place to meet people. You're not meeting people in a bar. You're meeting people who are doing something positive. There's all different body types in the gym, all yeah. different ages, especially in ours. You know, you got men and women and you got young and old and you've yeah. got people of all races in there and it's just a great place it's a positive place but just be respectful if you're filming in the gym be respectful the clothes you wear in the gym be respectful or whatever you think is respectful to yourself and to other people be respectful when you're filming but if somebody takes a glance at you i mean i'm not talking about gawking at you (laughs) but be respectful and and don't make assumptions about people don't make assumptions about people don't judge people that you don't know and um i'm just i'm very proud of the culture the culture's in all of our gyms and it's just people love it and you got to find a gym that's for you they all have different personalities so find a gym that works for you that fits your character and your personality and something that you like and yeah. as long as everybody does that, everything will be good. Any last thoughts, Jesse? No. Yeah. Same stuff. Yeah. We have great culture. Our gyms, you know, pretty much can have anybody in them. You know, most everyone's super respectful. I know our staff and the culture of that. Everybody is is super inviting and, and warm and respectful. And yeah, it works good. You know, we have we, we have some really, really good people that love being members with us you know, because we do offer to them what is a good experience. So yeah, but yeah, find your place. That's for sure. That's, that's going to just motivate you more to get your butt in there, the more you enjoy it. Yeah. And our, I think it starts with our staff, you know, our team members and something that's never been tolerated by in any of my gyms is being disrespectful to any staff member. You can file your complaint, but do not be rude. Do not yell at staff members. That'll get your membership canceled immediately. And uh, our staff members even know if somebody is just shredding you and ripping into you and they won't stop after you've been polite, you've tried to, you know, address the situation, you keep going at them, they're going to cancel you and they don't have to ask me. Yeah, for sure. It's needed sometimes, man. Sometimes people just don't know how to stop, right? And emotions get the best of people. And But it's not an excuse. That's what where I think, again, there's lines in my mind. And never is an excuse to disrespect somebody, that you, especially that you don't really know. And no matter how upset you are, you know, you got to learn how to control that stuff or get better at it. Right. And I've, I have seen managers of ours tell people. And I saw him just take the abuse, take the abuse. And finally the manager just goes, get out, don't come back and, you know, get out of here. And I'm sitting there going, nice. (laughs) Anyway, you got to be respectful and there's no reason ever to be mean. No matter what somebody does to you, there's no reason ever to be mean to anyone. Don't do it. All right, Jesse. Um, Appreciate your input, and this is a fun topic. We'll have to talk about it some more. Um, We will see you next time. All right, sounds good.